Welcome back to Coding Flappy Bird in Scratch. We should be up to this point right now where we have the trees moving, the bird is flapping its wings, it drops down, and when I hit the space bar or whatever key, that moves it back up. In this tutorial, we want to look into putting in the obstacles, which are the pipes uh, that go across the screen. We can see from our demonstration video, they're going to look like this. All right, we have pipes on the bottom, a pipe on the top, and then we have this other pipe right here, which is the double pipe where it's the gap that you have to fly into. And of course, if you hit the pipe, that is going to trigger game over. Game over, we're going to be looking into in tutorial number four. For now, we're just going to put the pipes in. So on number two right here, uh, we'll go back to the beginning, reset everything. Just like we did before, I'm just going to disconnect uh, the, the bird dropping down just to keep uh, it at this consistent rate right here for testing. So we'll go into getting a new sprite. I accidentally clicked on the search rather than paint. And we'll go ahead and paint uh, our pipe in right here. So that looks like a good pipe. We will make it that greenish color that we had on our demo game. And we'll put a little cap right on the top. So it looks like the old Mario games. Zoom on in on this to get the dimensions that I want. Cool. So I have my pipe here. And um, the, to, for starters, I'll make the double pipe. So we'll do this one on the top, and then the other one uh, we'll have on the bottom. Uh, we actually just give ourselves a little bit more space from the center. And we can Control C, Control V. I'm going to flip that vertical, and that way I can just put this one right down here. All right. I can gauge here by the screen about how far I want, uh, how far apart I want these things. Obviously, the closer the gap, the more difficult, and the further away, uh, the easier it would be to fly through. All right. Before we go any further, we will rename this as double pipe. Uh, then we can start our coding and having this thing move around. So we go into code. And we're going to want to have this thing start on the right hand side of the screen and start moving over to the left. So we will put our event in that when clicked, I want this thing to go over to this furthest point over here. So 224, I think I can get 248 out of it. There we go. So that's pretty far off the screen. So we'll say go to 248 and um, then we will show this thing and have it move over uh, or pan and start scrolling to the left. So we'll go to go to this point right here. So our X coordinate starts at our furthest point. Our Y coordinate, we're actually gonna have change. What we're gonna do is we wanna have this thing pick a random number. So we'll go in our operators and we'll do pick random. And sometimes we want it to be high, sometimes lower. We'll say not much higher than this. We're at 108 right there. So we'll actually make this pick a number between 100 and we'll just bring this down to see how low we want to go. All right, negative 100. We'll just do that. We'll do positive 100 and negative 100. All right, and that way when I click this thing, it's always going to go into whatever random location just to make it so the game isn't exactly the same every single time. All right, once we show up like this, we are now going to want this thing to start panning to the left of the screen. We want to go into motion. And we want to do change x by a certain amount. I think I forgot to grab my forever loop down here as well. So we'll put our forever loop right around here. Now we want this to move at the same rate as all these trees. So we'll look into our trees. Let's remember last time we're changing x by negative 5, right? Negative because we're moving from right to left. So we will go back here and we're going to copy that because it would be weird if this was going faster or slower than the trees. So we will match that speed. And let's see how it goes. We go to here and look at that. It's probably it's actually starting to look like gameplay right now, right? Where the the, um, the pipes are moving across, and then the bird has to fly in the gap. Right? Again, we dis we we haven't coded this to uh, to do anything when the the pipe is hit. We'll do that in just a little while. So we have our pipe going from over here. 
travel into this side. And now we're going to want to do the same thing as we did with the trees before. When it gets to this extreme measurement over here, we want it to go back to the beginning and start again. Right? So we can keep reusing this same sprite. It's going to pop up multiple times throughout this game. So if we look back into what our tree was doing before, this is the loop right here that says if our X position is so far over here, we want to go back to the beginning and start all over again. So we can actually take this thing and we can do control C. We can go back over here and we can control V it. Now this is for the trees, so this may not be exactly what we want, but it's going to be really close. And we're going to say when our X position is less than, uh, we said 240 for the trees, but for our pipes right now, we're at negative 254. So we can just base right off of that and we can say negative 253. Then we're going to go back to our beginning position and randomize it the way we were before. This was the one for the trees. We don't want that. And this one up here is what we're going to want to duplicate. Go back to the random position. Let's see how that goes. Perfect, right? This is the same sprite called double pipe that's going to keep on coming out. And you can see the, um, the elevation, right, or the x coordinate is constantly changing, right? We're picking a random number between 1 or 100 and negative 100, and that's going to be what we want. All right. In the beginning of the game, you know we have a little bit of time. This waits two seconds before the pipes start coming up. So we're going to do the same thing for this. Uh, we want to wait six seconds, and then we're going to want to have a delay between these two. So we're going to say um, delay six seconds, uh, then our pipes are going to start coming. And because we have the pipe, the double pipe here, we have uh, one of them that's going to be on the bottom and another one that's going to be on the top, we want to have a delay between those three different sprites so we have something that's going to come at our bird that's looking like this. All right? Not all at the same time, but one here, one here, one here, and they're all going to be spaced about two seconds apart or so. So what we're going to do is, uh, I believe, four seconds for our delay here. After we hit our uh, X position, uh, that will reset after four. All right. Your game, you can change it to be however you want, but we want this to come up at about this frequency. Wait six seconds to start, uh, then every four seconds, send another one down the screen for the bird to avoid. All right, so our timing is good. Everything looks pretty awesome right now with one exception, and that is the fact that uh, it's it, it's sitting over here ready to go and for gameplay we don't want that to be the case so we're going to play around with our show and hide commands right now so if we go into looks we want to hide this thing in the beginning when we're waiting for six seconds then we want to show as we are coming at the bird and then as soon as it hits this other position back here we're going to hide it again and then we're going to show it when it's all done This is, should be looking uh, like a lot of the games that you've been playing now, where the thing pops up and it starts moving around and it's hidden and shown at the right times. All right, now we want to make the pipe on the bottom, the pipe on the top, and we can do that by duplicating this one that we've already made. So this one's called double pipe number two. We'll call this, we'll start with bottom, bottom pipe. All right, if we have just the bottom pipe, our costume is going to be getting rid of this one, and it's going to show up the exact same times as the other one. Only difference is the wait command in the beginning, instead of six seconds, will bring it down to four. All right. After four seconds, this one will show up, and it'll start traveling across the screen. Just so we can see what's going on, we're going to get rid of our hide commands, because we want to make sure this is going the right places and doing the right things. So we'll take away those hide commands for right now. We can always put them back in again at the end. So let's see how this is going to go. All right, after four seconds, it goes by. And now it's popped up over there, ready to go. And every four seconds now, it should be going. Okay, 
the things look pretty good. The randomizer is also working. You can see the heights changing as it's going by uh, to have a different uh, thing happening uh, as we, we go throughout our gameplay. All right, let's stop this. Let's put our hide commands back in. We can say this here, hide, and we can say uh, hide right here. All right, and to test this thing out, this is looking like it's exactly what we want. All right, our final thing we're going to do, stop this, and we will duplicate one more time. Uh, we have our double pipe two. This one's gonna be called our top pipe. All right, top pipe in costume. We will get rid of this one on the bottom. Randomizer should be working and everything should be good to go. To change our duration, instead of six, we'll make this one two. All right, worked well before, but just again, um, to make sure everything is doing what we want it to do, uh, we're gonna take away these hide commands for right now, just so we can see exactly where this object is traveling and what it's doing. Okay, so things look okay with one big problem. It's traveling the way we want it to go, but for some reason it's getting stuck on the back of the screen right here and it's not resetting to the front. If we look at our position right here, it's at negative 252. And if we look at our operator, it says uh, change and reset everything at negative 253. So it's never gonna get there, it's stuck in this other position. But we can cheat and if it's at 252, negative 252 right now, if we just say change at negative 251, and hopefully it'll reset and it'll go back to where it wants to go. Cool, so it's resetting over here and the only problem now are those show and hide commands that we wanna put back in to, to um, make it look like the regular gameplay. All right. So that takes us up to the end of this tutorial. Um, our pipes are all working. The next tutorial, we'll look into coding. So uh, when we hit the pipe or we hit the ground, we will lose the game.